Um, all the towns, this is cleaning day, and they're in the bee sanctuary. And um, they're gonna, f what are they doing? I can see all the trucks and everything else. They're probably, they're cleaning up everything. I wonder if they're, look, they're, they've got weed killer there. And um, I'm sure my father-in-law's here. Lots of trucks. I wonder if they're gonna throw away my beehive that I have up in there. Uh, it's, uh, it's weed killer. They're gonna be chopping every, cutting everything down. So I'm sneaking in here to see what they're doing. Um, they're getting ready to clean everything. I wonder. What I'm gonna do if uh. I don't know what to do. What do I do here? All the, all these are all the town folks are here cleaning up. And they're probably going to throw away my friggin' beehive. So my little secret's going to be out here. I see them walking around and uh, probably go by, take a video. And I'm sure my in-laws are here. Look, they're all cutting. Here is uh, my father-in-law. No. Yeah. Hi, Zaymas. Hi. 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 So they're all out in there. They're cutting. See all the people out there. They're cutting everything down. What are they going to do with my, you know, they're probably cutting down all the uh, wisteria and everything else that I put up there. Uh, probably will, so I didn't know I mean, it's seven in the morning and they're all out here in force. And I'm just one guy doing my little thing. So the seek, the, they're all out there. Here they are, you see the women? I don't know if you can see the women out there working. Cutting everything down. Well, there's nothing I can do, and I don't speak enough Japanese to uh, stop it, so we'll have to uh, hopefully, um, they're all working on everything, community cleanup day. This is community cleanup day. So all the farmers are out, everyone's out planning, as you can see here, working, working and doing flowers and everything. So. <laughs> my, that's my mother-in-law. She's, she's like baka and say go away. So they're cleaning up everything. So thank God she's not in there. Um, she's not in the. Uh, um, so God knows what's gonna happen. Uh, Baka. <laughs> trying to figure out whether I should go back and uh, help with cleaning the forest there and explain what it is or not. Um, and pointing out the wisteria that's growing and stuff like that. And um, you know, well, I mean, the, the cat's out of the closet now with my, my secret Shinto bee sanctuary is no longer a secret.
So, the question is, I'm scared. I mean, I, I'm, I don't know what they're going to do with the, the beehive that they find back there. Um, and thank God I had no bees. Um, and number two, um, where they cut down all the wisteria that's growing. Of all this wisteria, I do have it staked out, but I wonder if they will acknowledge that or just cut it down. So, I don't know. I don't know what to do. And I don't speak good enough Japanese to confront and my father-in-law is there my mother it's gonna be well fuck them I mean if they do it they do it um, I don't know what to do I got to get gas though but they're closed aren't they I came here to get gas but they're not even open I wonder why they're not open. They're like the cheapest gas in town and they're not open. Are they closing down? Best price. Who knows? They got a ro rope up, which people just can't see, right? There's rope. They don't have any bands or anything down on it. So I'm trying to find gas because I'm out of gas. Spent the morning at Oketa Farm and now I'm going to check out what they did at my secret beehive. Shinto beehive was cleaned up this morning and I'm wondering did they remove my beehive, you know, um, and uh, did they cut down all my wisteria. It's no longer a secret, the whole town will be talking about it. Oh, someone's been. So here I am at the park parking my little secret place here um, I'm actually picking up my kids to take them to uh, Oketa farm and I spent the morning I've been there since 7 o'clock it's now 10 so I've been there three hours and my wife called and um, I'm just gonna leave the car on let's see what they did see how what the damage is well I can see they didn't cut my wisteria at the entrance here so let's see what happened here. So they didn't cut this down. Like, uh, someone is trying to make this grow. Cool. They cut all this down. Down here. Oh, my beehive is still there. And uh, they cut it all down. They just chopped it, chopped it, chopped it down. What I want to do is actually check, here's my little path, and they didn't cut my central part, so they obviously saw that, hey, someone's actually working this here. These are actually all plants growing up here. They recognize the plants, and they just cut around it. So, um, sweet. They probably realize that, hey, these are all, these are these beautiful tulips all. Oh, look how vibrant they are. They're really growing up now. So next year, you know, look at mine here compared to, uh, they, someone stepped on them here. Oh, well, they did cut. Uh, they, someone did get in here probably Look at those, see they're so small and weak and they haven't really grown up that much there. These are all natural here, growing up. So, everything's intact. I was really scared this morning what to do. They went around and cut, I'm sure they cut some of my, my uh, things out. I'm gonna go around and, uh, they left my little beehive there. Little nature preserve. So they didn't do too much damage here. But this may have been somewhere else. It may have just been encroaching on it. Yeah, right here. Right down there. So cool. How 
How did this get pulled up? I don't know. These are pretty little flowers. Look at the beautiful these uh, this this seat this grass has beautiful little flowers. You see those little white flowers in them? Nice. Even they have beautiful little flowers. Oh no, they I don't see them in this one. Yeah, there they are down here. Look at those little flowers. The base. Beautiful little flowers here. Little kind of whitish purple flowers about to open up. Nice. So hopefully this grass will grow out more and um, get more of this ground cover. This is really good ground cover. And they've cut everything down. They also left my stump that I was working on. So, well, that's kind of cool. It really surprised me. I had the nightmares that they were going to basically tell me, here's a pretty little, yeah, I knew this was a flowering plant right here this is I want to get more this is actually a big old shrub so this is something I want to probably pull up and um, get growing more beautiful little plant maybe I'll move that into my area um, here's my wisteria in my wisteria here so it didn't get whacked good and I want to kind of feed it up here I want it to replace this stuff here right so this wisteria is going to grow up grow up on either side here where's the other one here where's my other wisteria here it is let's get them in the sun there you go buddy right there Sun. Look at that perfect hit of sun to those trees. He's gonna do that wisteria is gonna do good. And uh, looks like they didn't even go near the beehive. Looks like they just cut in here and left that. They probably saw the beehive in there. It's like, oh, is there bees in there? So they're letting that area grow, which is kind of cool. And there, let that grow up nice it looks good so huh, I can grab that grass move that grass so now I'm gonna go get Tommy and Mikey and we're gonna go to O'Kara farm so that's not bad <laughs>